Jumper from 837. A 70-kilogram high jumper leaves the ground with a vertical velocity of 6 meters per second. How high can he jump? Let's take a look at this situation. Here's point A, and here's our high jumper. And he or she is jumping up. So the velocity at A is 6 meters per second. Eventually, you're going to reach a maximum height, which would be point B, B being a height H above point A. And at that point B, the velocity would be zero because it's momentarily at rest as you reach the maximum height. So, it's strictly a conservation of the energy problem, we would say the kinetic energy at A plus potential energy at A plus any work done along the way will equal the kinetic energy at B plus the potential energy of B. However, we're going to come to rest at point B, so we're going to have no kinetic energy at B, and we define our level, our ground level, as being point A, <clears throat> so we have no potential energy at A. There's no air friction to worry about, so we have no work done along the way. So we strictly have that the kinetic energy at A will equal the potential energy of B. One half the mass times the velocity at A squared will equal the mass times G times the height of B. And in fact, the mass will be um, extraneous because it cancels out here. And our height of B then will be equal to uh, the velocity at A squared divided by 2G. And that is going to be 6 squared divided by 2 times 9.8 and that's equal to 1.84 meters. So this high jumper can jump 1.84 meters approximately 6 feet which is pretty high and that will be um, based on conservation of energy.